Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch at the Battery Atlanta. The Battery Atlanta is a 2.25 million square foot entertainment, shopping, and dining destination, which is connected to Truist Park, home of the Major League Baseball team, the Atlanta Braves. And in this video, we'll walk the Battery, take a look around, grab some food, I'll have a drink or two, and take lots and lots of pictures as we sightsee and look around this Atlanta attraction. And we will be in Atlanta sightseeing and checking out more attractions in the upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe and keep getting off the couch with us. This is an early morning walk for us here at the Battery. It is pretty nippy outside, so not a lot of people are out. We have just parked in the parking garage here at the Battery. And the first two hours are free for the red, yellow, and purple decks. I will include the website link in the description box for those parking details. Um, right now we are in front of a gaming spot, Battle and Brew, which we definitely want to check out um, next time that we're in Atlanta. Uh, this is an Asian food hall, Feast, which we'll be eating at later in the video. And now here we are in front of Wahlburgers, a restaurant by Chef Paul Wahlberg, brother to singer and actor Donnie Wahlberg, and actor Mark Wahlberg. Uh, by the way, the Battery, although it is adjacent to Truist Park, is open year-round, um, not just on game days. And if you're curious about the term Battery, uh, I am. I don't watch baseball, so this is new terminology for me. The term Battery was used by Henry Chatwood, a sports writer and baseball statistician, often referred to as the father of baseball. He used the word battery to compare a baseball team's pitching staff to an artillery, so the name pays homage to the history of baseball. Uh, which is really interesting along with this area uh, there are so many restaurants um, so many cool activities different things to do here and we're not even walking the whole area so i'm not showing it all i'm not seeing it all let's go inside uh, let's warm up and take a closer look at one of the restaurants here uh, i'm going to choose goldberg's fine foods a new york style deli and restaurant i stopped here because i'm drawn to these chairs on the outside uh, how cool are these I'm not a baseball fan. Um, I have attended a few minor league games in the past, um, but this environment though at the Battery makes me want to attend a game right here. Uh, if you have been here before and attended a game, tell us about it. Um, we'd love to hear your experience. I am going to grab a bagel and have it toasted. Uh, Gold Bars offers more than 32 varieties of bagels and I'm freezing. <laughs> it's 40 degrees this morning, so that toasted bagel is going to taste good. Um, they do have way more than bagels though. Um, breakfast is served all day. There's burgers, sandwiches, and drinks. Okay, so I have my super cinnamon raisin bagel and I'm going to head back outside in the cold to find my seat. <laughs> I'm having my take me out to the ball game experience right here, right now. Uh, but we're gonna keep walking because um, as we move closer to the baseball stadium, uh, we're about to get as close to a baseball experience as much as we can without actually attending a game. What an incredible area to hang out in, especially if you are an Atlanta Braves fan. If you are a Braves fan, uh, tell us in the comments. Let us join in on your excitement, please. And if you've been to the Battery before or Truist Park, um, let us know. We'd love to hear about your Battery experience and actual game day experience. I feel this whole area is a photo op, but this is an intentional photo op. So let's check it out. Okay, did you get your photo? Now, as you can see, restaurants are lined up all the way to Truist Park. A uh, Terrapin Tap Room is catching my eye since they do serve Fox Brothers Barbecue, which we'll have in the next video. It'll be a different location. Subscribe though if you have to do so. Keep getting off the couch with us. You definitely don't want to miss out on that. There is still a lot more to see, so let's continue to take a look around.
I just had to climb the stairs and take another look at this um, rotating baseball. I just think this is so cool. <laughs> This is my favorite part of this layout. Uh, I would love to hear what's your favorite part. Obviously, the kids really like the green space and there is a fountain. Um, this is the fountain area right here. I imagine when it's warmer, they have this turned on and it's really fun for the kids or adults uh, to play in the water. So the Atlanta Braves have been around for a while and they did not start in Atlanta. They started in Boston as the Boston Red Stockings moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and then finally to Atlanta, Georgia in 1966. The clubhouse store is currently being renovated, as you can see. So we'll have to walk across the street to check out the Braves memorabilia and merchandise that's available at the temporary store, which is beside the Coca-Cola Roxy, a concert venue. Within the temporary location, uh, it definitely has that temporary look, but it carries everything that um, you would expect a clubhouse store to carry. So we are going to leave the store. We're going to continue our walk because there are different sides of the stadium, of course. And on different sides of the stadium, there are different um, things to see. Uh, here's a statue of Bobby Cox, who led the Atlanta Braves to 14 straight division crowns and a World Series title during his second stint as their manager. And if we continue to walk or drive, because it is a bit of a walk, in front of the left field gate is another statue, Warren Spahn, who played for the Boston Braves, um, which then moved to Milwaukee and became the Milwaukee Braves. Spahn holds the major league record for most career wins by a left-handed pitcher. And behind that is another ring, a 1995 World Series championship ring. Okay, let's get out of here and go backwards where we were at the beginning of the video to the food hall, Feast for Dinner. Feast is an Asian food hall with four different eateries, as well as a bar with 40 different types of craft beer on tap, cocktails, wine, and sake, and a bubble tea shop. As we normally do when visiting a food hall, we'll attempt to try as many places as possible within the food hall. So we're picking up a ramen for the kids to share at Lifting Noodles Ramen. We're trying a classic tonkatsu and London as an official off our couch taster, uh, must see some of this ramen. And he is stating that it is the best tonkatsu uh, that he's ever had. And he's had a lot of tonkatsu. Next stop in the food hall is Fantasia. And I have to say, I love all the play on words. Um, the Fantasia, then Feast, um, it's really fun, it's cool. Anyways, from Fantasia, um, we also have some dumplings for the kids to share. And London and I are also going to share a Mongolian beef. Now, doesn't this look good? What you're seeing is what we're tasting. <laughs> it is delicious, I love it. Uh, at this point in our day, it is raining outside uh, and it's dark, it's nighttime. And this is just so comforting. The beef is tender, the vegetables are crunchy, the flavor is on point. And to go with all of this, we're choosing some drinks from Taps, drinks that will complement the ramen and the Mongolian beef. There's an impressive assortment of drinks to choose from, but what feels best for this meal, I believe, is some sake. I have a peach sake uh, and, as recommended by the bartender, a coconut sake. I normally don't like coconut, um, but the bartender is correct. This is wonderful. Um, I want more. I need a bigger glass. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've said I didn't like a particular flavor and then tried it in an unconventional way and loved it. Something else unconventional, at least for us. Um, I never even heard of this before, but we are watching a Japanese old fashioned being prepared. If you've been getting off the couch with us for a bit, you may have noticed London is um, pretty much always getting an old fashioned. It is his favorite drink. Favorite cocktail, I should say. And we have had the chance to try some fancy derivatives lately, uh, like a walnut old fashioned. Uh, so this will be his first time tasting a Japanese old fashioned made with Tenjaku whiskey. And my first time still in a sip also. From the sip or two uh, that I've managed to sneak in, uh, it's sweet, a bit sweeter than a standard old fashioned. And I really like it. Um, I love all of the drinks. Um, I love all the food. Everyone has enjoyed their meals, I should say. Um, the food hall has a nice environment, eye-catching theming, and a welcoming ambience. Um, there's even live music and outdoor seating that you can enjoy when it's nice outside. I like that the food hall is small too, since it doesn't seem like they have online ordering. I didn't see that as an option on this trip. Uh, anyways, it was easy for London to order something while I ran to pick up food that was ready. Um, the kids at our table um, were always in our eyesight. The table was always visible, so that really worked out well for us. 
I enjoyed the experience. I love to come back and try more dishes, um, try more of the eateries that's within the food hall. London agrees. I know the kids agree. There weren't any complaints and their feedback is always immediate. <laughs> I never have to wonder. Uh, I like to try more sake too. As always though, we want to hear your thoughts. Have you ate at this food hall or anywhere else at Battery Atlanta? Um, during our walk, is there somewhere that you found interesting? Somewhere that you would love to visit here at the Battery? Or are you planning a trip to Atlanta and just checking out different things to do? Let us know. We want all the deets. Uh, we love to hear from our fellow travelers. We love to learn from our fellow travelers. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Let us know. And if you answered yes to my last question and you're just checking out different things to do in Atlanta, join us next video. Subscribe if you yet to do so. Meet us off the couch at The Works. The Works is located in the upper west side of Atlanta. It is another multi use area with shopping, dining, entertainment, office space, residences, and more. The Works also has a food hall, Chattahoochee Food Works, uh, and even restaurants outside the food hall like Fox Brothers Barbecue that I was talking about earlier. And we have on our loose pants because we're going to try some food both in and out the food hall. So join us please off the couch next video. A new adventure comes out each and every Saturday. Um, you may want to bring your loose pants too. If not, that's okay. Uh, we're going to get a bit of exercise in too. So we're going to attempt to cover it all here at the works. Uh, also be sure to sign up too for our newsletter. We have a monthly newsletter that provides travel inspiration, travel tips, and featured destinations of places that you may want to check out and travel to. Um, that comes directly to your inbox each month. Um, the sign up link is in the description box and it also is on our website too at allfriedcouch.com. As always, thanks so much for joining us here in Atlanta for this adventure at the Battery. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares, and the suggestions. Uh, your feedback and your support makes these weekly adventures possible. So thank you incredibly much. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.